Hi everyone, this presentation will be a brief overview of the major requirements for the BA in Political Science. This information will give you an idea of what your major is and what classes you'll need to take for your major. First, we'll go over a quick recap of the School of Social Sciences requirements before we actually start to talk about the Political Science major and its requirements. For that, we'll go over the major requirements as well as department basics and opportunities. So, in addition to your UC and UCI requirements, all social sciences majors must complete two School of Social Sciences requirements. The first is the mathematics requirement, and the second is the computer technology requirement. As a political science major, you have the option to complete either a statistics sequence or a calculus sequence with one quarter of stats. If you choose the statistics sequence, you will take social science 10A, 10B, 10C. Do keep in mind that the stat series is a year long, so if you're planning to do this route, you should really start it in the fall in order to finish it in the spring. If you are going this route and are a transfer student, we advise starting this your very first quarter at UCI uh, so that you are able to finish it in a timely manner. The calculus sequence is composed of Math 2A and Math 2B and Stat 7, so it's still three quarters of math, but instead of only statistics, it is instead two quarters of calculus and one quarter of statistics. It is possible that if you took a semester of calculus and a semester of statistics at a community college that this requirement is already completed. We would indicate this on a degree check sheet for you. Also, please keep in mind that if you are planning to do the calculus route here at UCI, you will most likely need to take a placement exam to place in the Math 2A unless you have other exam scores, uh, but that would be something to check out at the UCI Testing Center or ask your academic advisor about. Also, all math courses must be taken for a letter grade. For the other school requirement, that is the computer technology requirement, you can choose whether you'd like to take SOCI 3A or ICS 31, which is an intro to computer programming class. This requirement you can choose to take for pass, no pass, or for a letter grade. We do recommend that our students take SOCI 3A as that class is open to all social sciences majors, while ICS 31 is initially restricted to students under the school of ICS. Okay, so now we'll talk a little bit about the Department of Political Science. Here at UCI, the Political Science Department is focused on the study of politics of advanced and democratizing societies, international co cooperation and peace, the politics of racial and ethnic minority groups, and the origins of altruism and morality and their impact on world politics. Some sample courses you might take as a political science major are things like human rights, introduction to law, race and ethnicity in U.S. politics, uh, and the American presidency, just to name a few. The department also has an honors program as well as extracurricular organizations like the UCI Law Forum, Mock Trial, and Pi Sigma Alpha Honor Society. If you'd like more information on any of these opportunities, uh, you can check out the department's website, which we've listed there. Now we're going to talk about the actual major requirements for political science. To begin with, most majors at UCI are comprised of lower division courses and upper division courses. Lower division courses are numbered 1 through, 90, 1 through 99 and are designed to be introductory courses. Upper division courses are numbered 100 through 199 and are more specialized seminar-based classes where you do get into more specific topics. For the lower division courses, you will choose five from the list provided. If you look to the right, we've included part of a political science degree check sheet and the classes that will apply for this requirement are listed there. You will then start moving into your upper division module courses. For the module courses, you will actually pick a specific area of focus and take three classes within that area. The modules offered include American politics and government, political theory and methods, international relations, comparative politics, and public law. The way you know which classes belong to each module are by their numbering. So you can see here that for the American politics and government module, that will be any class numbered 120 through 129. One thing to make sure is that if for whichever module you choose, you want to make sure that you've also taken the introductory course for that module. So for example, if you were planning to take the American Politics and Government module, you will need to make sure that you also took Poli-Sci 21A. Then you'll take four upper division political science courses. These can be any political science course numbered 100 through 199. The final requirement is the three additional social sciences courses. A max of one can be a lower division course, while the other two must be upper division courses. These classes can be anything under social sciences. So if you wanted to take a sociology class or an econ class, that would be applied here. You can still take political science courses if you would like, but sometimes it's nice to kind of branch out. Alright, that was a bit about the political science major. If you have any questions, here's our email, or you can always visit our website. Bye everyone!